All right, welcome everybody. So uh, today we're taking a look at how to access the Alamo College's uh, online data bank. And uh, what you're gonna do is go to uh, alamo.edu and then you are going to click on your school and it should bring you to the main uh, school's webpage. Right here I am on Northwest Vista College's uh, main page. And if you go down here on the main page, you'll see library. Now that's where you're trying to get to. Uh, underneath library, you're going to click on database. Down here, we're looking for social sciences and psychology um, and behavioral sciences is where we're going into. Now it might prompt you to put in your uh, banner ID and your ACES uh, username. You just go ahead and put that in and it will get you um, onto the database. But uh, primarily, it's best to be used um, on campus. If not, again, it'll ask you for your banner ID and your ACES username. So you just put that in and you can access this. So this is a search engine for um, articles and scientific research and data uh, related to psychology and behavioral sciences. So this is where primarily I want you to find your sources uh, for references and in-text citations. So when you're gonna do a paper, you want to primarily focus on a database like this because it, it has a high volume of scientific and valid uh, articles, journals, and papers that were done by individuals who are professionals as well as experts in the field of whatever you are looking for. So for example, let's say we're looking for um, ab abnormal behavior. So you just type it in, click, click enter or search, and then you get presented with a bunch of different articles. Um, over here on formatting, you can actually filter what type of results you're going to get. So I want academic journals, but you can also go into magazine and all results. Um, see what you find right here. Academic journals, effects of self-esteem and depression on abnormal eating behavior among Korean family college students. Uh, developmental antecedents of abnormal eating attributes. So it's all, these are related to eating, age-related sperm, DNA, um, exploring the prevalence and phenomenology of repetitive behaviors. So pretty much what you're going to do is you would come into this database. Let's say we're going with this one. This is what we're looking for, for example. It's going to pop you up with the screen right here. Right here, um, as you go down, it gives you the main information of it, and it shows you an abstract. Now, an abstract is not something we are going to use in this course, uh, nor is uh, author's notes. So you want to stay away from that, but you do want to use abstracts uh, whenever you're looking at articles. It's a quick way to see a lot of information summarized. So it's a pretty much a summary of the entire article. And you use them whenever you're looking for articles for your own um, papers or information. And you would read over the article and it will tell you a summary of it. And if you find that this is exactly what you're looking for, you want to use this source in your paper, you want to reference it and use in-text citations related to it, you want to um, get the citation for this. And what you're going to do is... Um, First, you're going to want to click on the PDF. OK, so when you click on a full text PDF, or it'll say just full text, you can read the entire article. I know it looks like a lot, but if you are going to be writing about whatever the specific topic is, you are going to want to look into the data. You're going to want to understand what they're talking about in order to present your argument on your paper. And that's what. APA papers are all about. They're all about arguments. It's making a statement that's based on factual information and supporting it based on research. So it's no longer just your opinion of something. It is a factual idea that is supported by scientific data. Now, um, so say this is exactly what we want. We read it. 
we're like, yeah, let's let's go ahead and go with this. What you are going to want to do, let me go back one. Okay, so we're back here at the abstract. What you are going to want to do is click over here on the right where it says site. And if you go down here, you'll see all the different formattings. And then right here is your APA reference. This is the reference that you would literally, and this is the only time it's, it's acceptable to do this, you would copy this and paste it into your reference page. So after you have this um, source on your reference page, you can use it as, as many times as you want to cite this one source, this one reference in your own paper. So you can talk about whatever this article is talking about and relate your, your paper and opinion based on this information that's on this article, and then you would cite it. <clears throat> and by citing it, it wouldn't pop up on the plagiarism report or anything like that. It shouldn't. And if you do it correctly, it, it should not pop up on the plagiarism report and it will um, give credit where credit is due to the authors of this article. And it would show that though you're talking about the same content, you are still giving them credit for uh, their research and what their article is about. So again, you would just copy, right click, copy and then paste it onto your reference page. And that would be your first reference. And then if you want to go back in, you can just type in something else that you're looking for related uh, to your paper. And that is how you use the Alamo College's database. And again, I remember if you're prompted with a, a little screen before you get into the database, uh, it, will, it will most likely require your ACES ID and your banner ID number. So make sure you know those and you put those in so that you can uh, access the data bank. And again, please try to use this, um, this uh, data bank for your papers because it is very useful. It's uh, really good scientific uh, data and information or articles. And if you use this and you find your references and use your references and in-text citations, I promise you, you will do great in this class.